Today I'm going to show you how to 3D scan a part, extract the surface you need, and create a custom design. All this using PL 3D Scanner, PL to CAD module, and SolidWorks on a Mustang 69. So we start with the Mustang. As you can see, it's a very simple setup uh, to scan. Doesn't have a lot of geometry on the hood, so we're going to be using positioning target for the tracking of the scanner. Software is a real-time rendering, so you can see what you're doing uh, while you're scanning. Uh, although it's a reflective surface, we didn't apply any paint or powder, and the scan turned out very nice, actually. So, uh, And if you need more scanning technique, feel free to check our YouTube channel for uh, training videos. So the scan is done. Um, first thing I'm going to do is do the alignment. So I'm using a symmetry plane tool right here to find the center uh, plane. And then I'm going to best fit a surface uh, plane on top of the hood. And then just a small little dot in the middle so it helps for the alignment. This alignment will be used later on to create my sketch in SolidWorks. Next step is I need to create a surface, a CAD surface, onto uh, the scan. So I'm going to be using manual surface tool. So I'm actually drawing here uh, a patchwork, a grid, if you want, of, of rectangles. And then the software is going to best fit a surface for each of those rectangles, a surface that follows the scan. This is precise to 0.1 millimeter, actually, in this case. So very good surface. Next step for me is to save uh, the scan and save this surface. And I'm going to send everything to SolidWorks. So now in SolidWorks, I import the scan. I'm going to be using it as a reference to see if you know my design it, it looks good. Then the surface is going to be my tool. So I'm using the plane I created earlier to create the sketch. So with this sketch afterwards, I'm going to create an extrusion. So this is very simple stuff in SolidWorks. But once the extrusion are done, I can use this surface to cut underneath the volume and to cut on top. So I have a design that fits perfectly of the shape of the hood and the top of my design will have the same curve as the actual hood. So I'm gonna keep a interesting design. After that, I put some fillet on the side. Since this is a air intake, I'm gonna create a profile for, uh, for the, uh, the entrance of the air. And after that, that's it, voila. I have my uh, custom air intake, fits perfectly on the hood. It's really not more complex than that. So thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos, feel free to check our YouTube channel. Have a good day.